Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here as the recording of this. It is Tuesday, July 18th, 2023. I have decided to get the heck into Dodge, not out of Dodge, into Dodge City, Kansas. My first time here, and I'm gonna be checking out some of the local attractions, history, and whatever else I can stumble upon. First thing is where I parked here at the Boot Hill Information and Visitor Center. Next to the museum, a Western hotel, a train. I'm gonna see what I can find. It is 98 degrees, gonna get up to 100, but I must be honest, it doesn't really feel like it is that temperature out here. I was in Arizona, it was like 105. It felt like it was 180. I was in Florida, it was 85 degrees. It felt like it was 103. This is 98 degrees, 100 degrees. It kind of feels like about 85. Different kind of, just different kind of environment or maybe I'm just getting acclimated to heat. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Boot Hill. Quite a few Western spots that I have visited across the US. Reference, call the area's Boot Hill. I was noticing the train over here in the parking area, and it looks as if there is no parking fee, which is nice, but the train has some lights on it around it. Maybe a leftover from the Christmas season, or possibly even at night it is illuminated. It looks like the steam is represented by the lights at the top there, you can see the circular patterns which make up cloud looking steam. This is number 1139. I go up these stairs, this is nice. A lot of times you'll see these trains on display and you're not allowed to go in the interior of them. But this one's just out here open to the elements and you can really get a, a good look at all the little bells and whistles and the gears and nozzles that are all through here. It's called the dynamo air pump, that, that nozzle right there, if you turn that. That's pretty neat. People have carved their names, lots of hearts. I'm not gonna downplay, it is, it is warm, just not as warm as it feels like, so I'm not gonna complain about popping in here real quick and getting a little more information inside the museum. All right, stepping in, the cost was $18. They give you a wristband, so adult price, $18. Raisin and ruckus. Ooh, I hear a storm back there. Whiskey, women, guns and groceries. Raisin and ruckus. Sounds like there's a storm a-brewing back in here. Really nice theming through here. This old wagon right here talking about the dance hall girls now, this is a coat made out of buffalo hide definitely would keep you warm in those winter months for sure but ooh, there's a little miniature train going by here there's a stagecoach yeah, that's cool passengers there were unspoken rules don't smoke a cigar or pipe in the coach don't spit tobacco into the wind you don't spit into the wind yeah, just riding along in the stagecoach here. Nice view of the, the old dusty plains. I'm gonna get off here though. Ooh, there's a Dodge City. Look at this. There's a Dodge City sign right there for the train station. Here's the depot and the train. Right. Oh, here we go. Be a conductor. All right, all right. Like that. Got some maps of the Western Cattle Trails over here. Texas Longhorn in this section. Just reading off of the little information placards there. It also were cattle thieves, so got to beware of them. Oh, it's a big windmill right there. And a list of all the different brands. When you think of brands. You think of brand name merchandise, but brand meaning the brand you put for the different farms and ranchers that own the cattle on the side of the cattle and the cows. Just 
just something about this era that's very fascinating. Oh, look at this. This chair. Yeah, they have a bunch of cattle horns. It's like something you wear to a wake. Look at this little hand. You put your hand in between there to warm your hands up. Okay, I'd hope I could walk through here into the saloon, the recreation of the saloon, but these are kind of kind of mounted on here just for looks. But take a look at this. There's a little bit of a of a hoedown going over here in the opera house in the saloon. This guy's dancing right over here with this this lady's got his cowboy hat up in the air. Oh, it's there you go. It's snowing over there. You can see the emulating of the snow. All right, stepping outside now into this area, you got the general outfitting here. You got the long branch, you got dry goods. You got the city drugstore, you got the Saratoga saloon. And from here, you go up the side of the stairs of this walkway, up the hill, Boot Hill really is on a hill. The jail was built about 1865. Sad eye, you in here, buddy? Sad eyes. Only incarcerated at knots. I just look at here. I just expect the sad eyes start talking back at me. That hole in the ground. Maybe that's where you did your business. That kind of adds to the ambiance, right? Creakiness. This is where you would serve your time. Right in here. They'll lock you up and throw away the key. Probably not a long-term jail. Well, the door didn't say shut. I don't think anyone's getting out of that chain. Heading into Boot Hill now. Into Boot Hill, the precise Boot Hill. Charles Whedon, September 10th, 1876. You get into the rest of it over here. And there's a little display talking about the Hollywood era of Dodge City. Of course, gun smoke was very popular. It's like a musical instrument walking on this floor right here. So this boot used to be on top of the original sign. See, there's like a boot like right there. So this is the neon boot that is still here, right over here. It used to be on the original museum built back in 1947. I love this place so much. Just the sounds of the creeks. And then you step out of that hallway with the boot and you go into this area here where they talk about the cattle trails. And there it is. There's a cattle right there. There's a steer right there. Just here. With the caretaker. Got the scale here for weighing. I guess weighing the cattle. Bobby Flores says they weren't allowed to go over the tracks. We had to go through the tunnels under the tracks. In those days, there were lots of trains. We were told to use the tunnel of the east because in the other tunnel was a big black dog with red eyes that would get you. I do not see the dog represented here on. Oh, I do. Never mind. The tunnel. Yeah, go through this way. You do not want to go through the tunnel here because there is the dog with red eyes that could get you. Over where all the learning takes place. These little desks. And on the other side of the fence is a home that looks like something out of Amityville. 1872 to 1879, any traveler who may pass this way, climb the lonely hill to pause and say a prayer for those who early found our rest upon the prairie windswept ages breast. They have little listings here like Ed Williams passed on in 1873. Ed Hurley drank too much and loved unwisely. Mac McDermott, 1873. Avengers Fred, friend, Ed Hurley. Charles Morehouse, 1872. George Hoy, August of 1878. You see Jack Wagner here, and you also see that there are boots. So, as I interpret it, 
boot hill is because the cowboy's boots are always at the top of the hill at their headstones. A buffalo hunter named McGill who amused himself shooting at every house he passed. He won't pass this way again. He passed on in 1873. I'm reading right here off the side. Seemed like a real rebel, rebel rouser. Back inside now, a couple more figures over here is making a fire here for a cook some stew up for the evening perhaps or maybe to keep warm. You got some miniatures over here, some stage coaches. Horses, cowboys, people working on their farm. Oh, hello there. Hello. So she is there in her rocking chair in this little farmhouse, cottage, if you will. Sod house, okay. It's called a sod house. And the only reason I know that is because it says so right here. Contrast to the elegant Victoria homes. Early homes in Dodge City were sod houses or dugouts. Henry L. Stiller, St no, Stittler, built the first home, a three-room sod house back in 1871, made out of sod. Look at this. It's fascinating. All right, now into the saloon. Where are you from? I'm from Florida. Swanee. Is that a spittoon down there? Yep, it is. Actually, in Florida, they spell it S-U-A-N-E. It's the oldest spelling of it. We call it S-W-A-N-E. They spell Swanee that way in Florida? Yep. They always call it S-U-A-N-E. Either way, cool. I think it's like Suwanee River, but it goes to Swanee. Water. Sure enough, people get many people come in a saloon to buy a water. Not too but many, I do. but when it's this hot outside... Oh, can you do something for me? Can you slide it down the bar to me? I can try. The plastic doesn't move nearly as easily as the glass does. I can slide it. Desperate bottles down the... Desperate bottles down pat, but the, those are harder. Let's try it. Let's try it and see if it works. Hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, let me do this one. Alright. This one's gonna be harder. The plastic is stickier. Uh, it's not gonna break the glass. No. That's what I mean. <laughs> we got it. That worked. And then you just kind of continue through how the West was won over here. In fact, it's like there's a little bit of a showdown about to happen right over here. Dating back to 1881. These two guys, I almost called them gentlemen. I mean, one of them was probably. Uh oh. That's not going well. Inside the church sanctuary now. Enough for us to hold a small congregation. This old Bible here. The Union Church. You got the piano on one side and the organist on the other. See the blacksmith over here? All the tools of the trade. So they evidently just didn't always brand animals. They also branded things that they owned. So that way people could say, oh, that's that's my trailer. That's my little horse buggy. No, 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 it's not. My brand's on it. I do love a good wax museum. I mean, I just love wax museums in general. Even ones that aren't good. I've been in this one, even though there was one here. But check this out. All right, going up the stairs here. This was $10 also. That's a good mural. All right, all right. This is Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill right here. William F. Cody, Buffalo Bill. 
Billy the Kid. Oh man, I love some Rocks Museum. Doing all right in there, Billy? Ooh, this is like a neon thing that I got the black light up here. Clay Allison, age 37, in a fall from a wagon while drunk. Wow. Before he passed, though, he took out 35 men. See, there's the boots up right there. Boot Hill. This is awesome. <laughs> oh man, this is so good. This is so good. General Custer. Wild Bill Hickok. Jesse over here on the left, and then his brother Frank on the right. Jesse James. And was not expecting to see JFK in here. Just looking out the window contemplating. Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier. And there's a parrot over here that he's eyeballing. It's like mean mugging the parrot. See him right there, see his eyes? It's just like, don't talk to me like that parrot. Dalton gang? Yeah, that's who this is. I had no idea there was a wax museum here in town. In the mirror you can see the reflection of the Daltons. There. And there. Chief Sitting Bull. So quiet up here. Oh, Bat Masterson. I don't know which one of these is Bat Mat. Oh, there we go. Duck Holiday. Here. Bat Masterson in the middle. Wyatt Earp right here. All these mirrors are really kind of throwing me off because I'm looking into the mirror now, but you can see them behind me. And then they're here. And there's also a mirror there that you can see me on behind the saloon. Okay, these are the TV show, the CBS Gunsmoke uh, characters. Miss Kitty, Festus, Doc, and also some other surprises that have nothing to do with the old West. We got a, a scary, spooky section over here. We got the wolf man looming over in the corner. Oh, there's a snake right there on that rock. But the wolf man. Dracula. Right here. I don't know who this is. He's like unearthing one of these cowboys coming out of the ground. Like something out of a Romero film. And over in the corner. Frankie. Frankenstein's monster, but I call him Frankie. I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't want Frankenstein to hear me. This. Ooh, I look, I look a little spooky in here too. This was a pleasant surprise. I love myself more wax figures. I don't know why, just something about wax figures. Why am I whispering? I just feel like it's so quiet in here, I should be whispering. JFK right there. Definitely don't miss this when you're in town. Life-size figures, the old wax sculpted in wax. But it is located inside a different building. From the outside, besides that one signage, when you walk up, you think, is it really gonna be in this other museum? But it's upstairs. I recommend it. Right over here next to the road, 
some crows and birds. So I'm playing, playing a card game here. And who could that? Who could this be? Oh, it's Doc Holliday. I just read the signs. Doc Holliday here. Oh, he's reaching for something there. Looks like someone's been cheating. There's Marshall Dillon right there from the TV show, standing in front of the Visitor Information Center with his cowboy boots on. Quite a bit of construction going on over here, but part of the Walk of Fame they got back in 2003, Dennis Weaver put his handprints down here. He's part of the Trail of Fame. A very impressive sculpture here. El Capitan. Greeting all the visitors and locals to the area. This was placed here back in 1980. Oh, that is so good. Look at those saloon doors right there. I just want to push through those. And it is appropriate, there's a train going by because this area was, still is, a railroad town. The one and only Wyatt Earp. Assistant Marshal here in town. And also, he's always looking out for Buffalo. That is quite an impressive piece right there too, that sculpture. Look like he looks like he's looking over at the train. Almost like a sundial or a labyrinth of some sort. Probably a sundial. It's a couple of them. A couple of older trains over there too. Oh, baby ducks. Baby ducks, mama duck. Hello, ducks. Dennis Hopper was born, lived here for a while, but this was his hometown. Ah, oh, here we go, Henry Fonda. Portrayed Wyatt Earp and my darling Clementine. And I've starred in over 200 movies. Okay, so Ben Bates has his hands, 2017 put his hands here. Then also back in 2005, James Arness, right here. Put his handprints, scribbled his name there, the date. It is now 101 degrees out here. Very unique old structure right there. Pigeon flying by. Whoa, must be Burt Reynolds or something. Played, played Quint Asper, blacksmith on the show from 62 to 65. All right, I ended up getting a coffee here at Red Beard Coffee. They opened up in 2017 and they had specially brewed coffee, so I got a Piping hot caffeinated beverage, even though it's 101 degrees, they also had some complimentary water in there. I chugged quite a few cups of that. And they were very kind, so I ended up looking at the merchandise and I bought a t-shirt. They're doing some construction on the top of the coffee shop. But rest assured, they were open. And I just took a sip of this and holy cow, it is tasty. That is good. That's a good cup of coffee right there, I must say. Redbeard Coffee here in Dodge City, Kansas. Murals aplenty out here. This looks to be a repurposed muffler man. Of course, muffler man seen across the US where like roadside relics. They used to advertise muffler places and the, the way their hands are held would hold a muffler. Sometimes you'll see like a Paul Bunyan muffler man. They'll have like an ax in their hand. This one is mobile man. And La Salsa Man. Oh. Dennis Hopper, who was born here, was enthralled with the original Muffler Man and had two Muffler Men made 
One being La Salsa Man. What the heck? Dennis Hopper made this? They toured the country with Dennis Hopper's art show. Yes. I mean, I love Dennis Hopper anyway. This is... This gives me more reason. Because I love Muffler Man. The first movie I really remember young seeing Dennis Hopper in that I really kind of latched onto his acting prowess and skills was Hoosiers. He played the drunk dad in Hoosiers. And then, of course, since then, I love him in a lot of other films. But when I think of Dennis Hopper, I always think of that role. But gosh, he's been in so many different things. My trails have become your highways. Seven million head of longhorns. Does that match up with you? I thought it was four million at the museum. Four or seven. Maybe it might have been seven. There's a lot of very historical things here. This bell. And I was reading that this was the very first sculpture placed here in town. And it was restored a few years ago. Take a look at this. The model for this was Joe Sugri. Su Sugri, a cowboy and chief from 1933 to 1936. It was modeled by a dentist. And from what I was reading, the reason he made it because, well, I was thinking maybe he would have some teeth there, but you don't see any teeth. So the dentist thing, my thoughts on that kind of go out the window. But this is the very first sculpture designed in town, signifying the old west, the history of it. And it's still here. And it sits atop of Boot Hill. In fact, on the other side of this distillery is Boot Hill. Well, technically, I'm on Boot Hill, but that's where all the headstones are. And that coffee shop is down there, and that's where the little walk of fame is. And he's just overlooking Dodge City. Well, this is the shirt that I got from Red Beard Coffee. Wild West. So I ended up picking this up and also heading back over here to the museum because it's six o'clock. We're gonna be doing a little showdown in here. I don't wanna miss that. All part of the show, folks. Back in the saloon. Got their bandanas on. 
I got robbed this whole thing. stuck around for that that was awesome well that's gonna do it for today from boot hill here in dodge city kansas i'll see you in the next video the vlog is over